right, um, Coach Faulkner, welcome to Pittsburgh, first of all. What has it been like kind of jumping on a moving train to pull a quote from Coach Tomlin? It's been awesome. I mean, um, a different experience. It's my first go around in the NFL, but it's been great learning things. I've been doing a lot more listening instead of talking, and um, I found myself getting better just through all the things that I've been involved with. But um, it's been a little bit of a whirlwind that way, but in the same, at the same time, it's been a great learning process. Is there anything that's caught you off guard or maybe by surprise so far? Um, no, not particularly. I mean, the one comment that uh, is always made is you talk about the difference between all the hours spent recruiting in college versus not necessarily that being the case on this level. That's probably like the biggest change is something you get used to. But other than that, I mean, you know, it's football. Um, and, and really at this point, it's just about me learning exactly how things are done and how we do things offensively and going from there. Last month, I had a, talk, a chance to talk to Coach Tomlin about the changes on the coaching staff. And when it came to you, he said you were always on the Steelers' radar, but the drafting of Jalen Samuels really helped develop that relationship. Can you take us through how it did develop? Well, um, I've, I've come for the back past you know, several years to OTAs out at practice. And just I grew up a Steelers fan, believe it or not. Um, and just wanted to watch how things were done. I've always had a lot of admiration for uh, the way Coach Tomlin goes about his business. Randy Finchner recruited me out of uh, high school at, when he was at Purdue. Um, so that relationship goes back 20 some odd years. But generally it was just trying to get better, professional development, get better at football. Um, and then, you know, through time I developed a relationship, I think a, a professional relationship in, in terms of the football aspect. And then I think when Jalen got here and, and played well, I think that maybe was part of the you know icing on the cake where they were like okay he was well prepared for this maybe he's a guy who would fit good in our organization so I'm, I'm excited about the opportunity and excited about coaching all these guys and it's going to be fun. Um, you mentioned Randy recruiting you back when he was at Purdue what how, how have you I guess seen Randy grow over the years since you've known him for so long? Yeah I mean um, you know there was a part in there probably when I was in college and when he was you know going to his different places and stops that he's at in the profession where we maybe lost connection but um, the relationship was still there because he did such a good job in the recruiting process my parents still talk about him um, and then you know once it got to a professional level where I was actually coaching as well um, just from there you, you saw his growth and obviously him ascend to where he's at now so that's been um, that's been fun to see um, you know just because it goes back that far but but ultimately, you know, um, he's an unbelievable guy to work for and be around, and, and he was that same way during the recruiting process 20-some-odd years ago. All right, explain to me how you're a Steelers fan. Um, I just like the Steelers, you know what I mean? I grew up in Muncie, Indiana, which essentially you think that'd be the Colts. Um, and I would go to Colts games from time to time with my dad, but I just really liked the black and yellow and, and loved the style of play that they had. Um, and it was, it was something I kind of saw myself doing, you know, went on to play in the Big Ten, play at Wisconsin, which is a similar style of football in that time, and it's just something that I admire. I have to ask you about Jalen Samuels. I'm sure you're not surprised what he was able to do coming on late in his rookie year, but what more can we expect from him as a player as he continues to grow and really has to make that big jump from year one to year two? I mean, I think what I think you can expect is him to give his all. I mean, that's kind of a generic answer, but it's the truth because I think he has good perspective after having a year in the NFL and what it's going to take for him to be the best he can be, and he wants to be a good football player. I, I joke with people and talk about his freshman year to his sophomore year at college was his biggest jump he made while he was there, um, and I think something relative could happen here as well. But uh, um, he's a good player. I know he's working hard um, to see where he can contribute. And, um, we got a lot of offensive weapons and a lot of good players in my room, so um, obviously he's going to have to come to work every day and, and, and you know, do what he does from there, but I know what he's capable of doing, and if he continues to, to develop, he's going to continue to get better. Are you excited about OTAs finally starting? Maybe not the glamorous part of the offseason, but a chance for you to be out on the field with the guys? I'm definitely ready. I mean, you know, like I said, from I got here whenever it was, February, late January, it's been the administrative part of things and trying to get sorted out. I'm ready to get out there on the field, start to develop a relationship with the guys, both in my room and, and otherwise, and start to build this team.